Yes, it's going to take a little while to settle in. There's been three weeks of preparation for the Samoan boys. By contrast, there's been three days preparation for the Barbars. But they know the nature of the beast and they're very well acquainted with the setup of this as Ben Robinson comes bullocking around the edge to try and take his team back into the 22. Bakis Bota thinks about the pass and thinks better of it. Off his feet. Back. Quick tap from Luke Burgess. Ball goes out on the bounce to Dwayne Sweeney. The Kiwi takes his team up to within a matter of metres of the first score Move. of this game. Pierre Spies. No, hands are on. Springbok number eight sets it back. Adam Thompson just trying to reset this sat down, but finds his way to market, finds his way to the try line, and the first try is on the board for the Barbars inside two minutes. Adam Thompson showing his absolute rugby World Cup experience there. He is a player that just gets in the right position at the right time. Comes to the short side and then it's just sheer power. His height gets him over the line. What's your attempt? The Samoan defence on the short side, not keep, keeping themselves honest. A gap right behind the rug. Good intent from the Barbars. Early opportunity from a line out, driven forward by those powerful forwards. And it's a powerful forward that gets over for the first try. Thompson, one of four Rugby World Cup winners on view this afternoon. Yep. For the Barbars. Been playing his trade a bit in Japan, came back last season and played a season for the Queensland Reds in Super Rugby. And now assigned for next season to go to the Melbourne Rebels. Christian Lelefano normally wears the colours of the Brumbies, now in Barbar's colours and looking to open his own personal account. Well, not going to happen off that kick, but he couldn't get much closer if he tried. You can see just on the short side, very, very clever and good, good uh, vision by Luke Burgess.